Hello, and welcome to my channel where I just talk about things that interest me. You can call me Kirk. Today we're going to be talking about one of my least favorite dog breeds and why they're one of my least favorite dog breeds. Well, I'll give you a second to guess which breed it actually is. If you guessed the pug, you were correct. So the pug is an ancient breed of dog with roots dating back all the way to 400 BC and most people think that it uh, originated in China, which may or may not be true. I mean, I wasn't there so I can't tell you. Uh, they were bred as companion animals for wealthy people, which I guess makes sense. PewDiePie has like two of them, so I guess that checks out. And my beef with the pug isn't personal. I just don't find them cute. You know, I, that's just me. My gripe is the fact that the pugs are bred to be deformed. Like honestly, what benefit is there to breed a dog to look a certain way, but then it's riddled with issues. And speaking of issues, let's talk about some of the health issues that they have. Pugs can have a hip deformity known as leg calf Perth's disease, which reduces the blood supply to the head of the rear leg bone, causing it to shrink. According to a study published in the Journal of American Animal Hospital Association in 2002, pugs are 65.6 times more likely to be at risk for leg calf Perth's disease compared to all other dogs. Jesus Christ. And speaking of legs, their kneecaps often easily slip out of place, a condition known as luxating patellas, which may require surgery to correct, so I mean there's also that. And they frequently have serious dental problems because their teeth are crowded into their flattened face. <sighs> My god. They can also suffer from a number of neurological problems including epilepsy, but the most frightening of all diseases that can strike the breed is known as pug dog encephalitis, or PDE. It's an inflammation of the brain that causes seizures and death, and you know, on top of that there's no cure and no way to prevent this condition. The Pug Dog Club of America is aggressively supporting research into the cause of PDE, and it's currently believed to be a genetic disease, so I mean, that's great, right? Breathing difficulties are extremely common, especially in hot and humid climates, and most pugs snuffle, snort, and sneeze constantly. They snore too, so, you know, just prepare yourself for that. And if they have severe breathing problems, they'll need corrective surgery too, so, yeah. Continuing the list of issues that they have, they, uh, they also get a lot of skin, air, and nose infections caused by bacteria and yeast growing inside their folds. Their tendency to allergies make this problem worse, so there's also that. But you know, big things come in little packages and the pug fits that saying perfectly. They're not all bad, you know, they're intelligent and playful, extremely affectionate, but because of their intelligence it kind of lead them to be a little mischievous, especially when they're left alone for long periods of time. But pugs are friendly, they're a friendly breed, you know, it makes them behave well around pets and small children. They love being a part of their owner's lives, you know, it's it's why you could imagine your pug sleeping in your bed with you or just laying on your lap falling asleep like that you know that's that's just how they are they're small which makes them easier to have in an apartment they're not super full of energy you know so you don't have to exercise them too much i mean make sure you exercise your dogs appropriately and feed them appropriately because the pugs can get overweight they tend to be overweight or get overweight faster than normal so there's also that and they don't shed as much so I mean, pugs have a lot going for them in general. I think we just need to work on breeding the issues out of them. Even if it changes how they look a little bit, just so the dogs can be more comfortable being alive. You know, I, I just don't think the flat nose and, and all of that stuff and the wrinkles are exactly necessary for them as it's all purely cosmetic anyway. And it just causes more harm than good. So I, I just think we need to breed these issues out and call it a day. No matter how they look, as long as the dog is healthy and happy, I think that's a little more important than how the breed looks as a whole. But that's just one man's opinion. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for letting me ramble on for however long this video is. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.